And I'm Scarlett. And we are Basic, Basic Stitches. Stitches. We'll get that done one week. We're working, we're working on it. Yeah, we're working on it. So this is now our second show, episode number two. Welcome back. Thank you for Welcome. coming back. Yeah. All 13 of you that followed us this week. Yeah, we, 13 subscribers. Yeah. Thank you so much. You know, everyone started somewhere. This is where we are starting. This is where we're starting. Yeah. You know, better than, like, three. Better than three. Better than none. Better than none. Most of them are friends and family. But, you know, you guys are great. Yeah. Maybe one day we'll reach people who are knitting. I think we have, like, one. Whoa, hey. Hello, Thanks, you whoever one you are. person. You may notice this week that our t-shirts are matching. Because we sometimes do things like that. We are known to wear matching outfits occasionally. We have a lot of the same shorts. Yeah, that's not on purpose. That's just taste. Um, but sometimes we do wear dorky matching outfits because of who we are as people, usually for the purposes of celebrating. So today we are celebrating the fact that our local yarn shop has moved into a new, bigger location. It's a Stash, a place for yarn in downtown St. Petersburg. They have moved. Um, and we have these sweet t-shirts uh, as a benefit. Uh, because they have the old address on them. So, you know, but we, we're OG. We've been there since the beginning of Stash. Yeah, I've gone in quite a few times. It's a good store. I'm, we haven't seen the new spot yet, and I'm super excited. So excited. I think it's going to be really, really good. And we know for sure that they are open via Instagram. Yes, and Facebook. So, oh, I'm so stoked about it. Yes. But in the moving sale, to help Kristen not have that many things to move, we bought some stuff. We made some relatively small purchases. Yeah. Uh, so two, well, kind of two, kind of one of the thing I bought are these guys. These little, well, lemon cakes. Uh, so these are Malabrigo worsted in, I believe, Sautrine? Sautrine? Oh. Ooh. Is that how you say that? That's how I would say that. You want to hold it up to yeah. So 22 Sauterine, um, so I've got two of these guys because as I mentioned in the last episode that I've learned my lesson, always buy two of each. Um, so these guys are going to become something really pretty, I think, for my grandmother. It's an important lesson to learn and knitting for grandma is always nice. Yeah. She calls me her sunshine and so. Those what, are the colors. What looks more like sunshine than these little beauties? So that is what I got in stash. I forgot to bring mine over, so I'm gonna go get it. My eyeballs. Sure. Like what are you doing with that? They're in my eyeballs. <laughs> Adorable. Okay, for real this time. Mm -hmm. Um, so I bought a uh, Brogo lace yarn. So it is single ply. Hold it up there, and it's all multicolor and beautiful. I think the colorway is Strawberry Jam, and I am thinking about doing Copilot, um, which is a pretty popular pattern on Ravelry. I have knit Copilot before, but I did it out of a, um, I think it was also a Barocco yarn, but it was like not an especially soft sock yarn. Um, I knitted it for my mom. Um, yeah. That's what I remember you brought that It's yarn. like, yeah, when we were in Tampa. Tampa. Um, and it's stripes of her colors. It's like blue, orange, green, pink, and black. Um, it came out really pretty. But I don't think I really had the pattern quite right. I don't know if I didn't have stitch count quite right or what. But instead of having like beautiful diagonal lace, I had straight up and down lace. Um, but I was too far into it and not a great knitter at the time. So I just went with it and I, I knit it. Um, until it was finished, uh, you can see it on my Instagram. Mom never wears it. Hey, Mom, I know you're watching. <laughs> um, but I'm going to take another crack at that pattern and uh, give her the opportunity to just trade it out, or maybe I'll keep it. We'll see. Support your local yarn store. Uh, that's what we try to do. Super happy with those purchases, and just I can't wait to see the new space. I know, me I'm too. I'm super excited. We'll have to go. Yeah, once we're back from vacation, we'll be in there. Okay. Um, so we're going to talk about the things we've been working on this week, which, at least for me, um, is a little, it's a short list. Mine's pretty short. 
pretty short as well. Yeah. So I've really been only working on the one project. And I think we had kind of a crazy week at work, and we've been sort of um, not spending as much time knitting as we would have liked. So, mm -hmm. do you want to go first? Sure. Um, I only have one this week, and it's actually not knitting. Uh, it's crochet. So I'm working on a crochet blanket. It's not very wide, so it has a very specific purpose. Um, but there he is. So I've been working on him most of the week. Um, he's supposed to look like the ocean. Pretty much all I have been working on, because he needs to be done rather soon. And he's he's getting there. He doesn't need to be much bigger than no, this. No, he's definitely coming along. Mm -hmm. And what are, what's he made of? Uh, he is Lion Brand. It's nice. kind of my go-to for projects like this. Yeah. It's a lot of colors, to... nice quality. Basic yarn. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, I think um, that's coming out I really should nice. mention that it's just plain double crochet. That's all it is. There's no pattern to it. I just made a chain, measured the chain to where it's length I needed it to be, and then just went down. Can you tell us again what it is? What it is? What have you been doing with it? Going, yeah, that's all the way down. Yes, yeah. yeah, just double crochet. That's a technical term, ladies and gentlemen. That is factual information. Yeah. Um. So we'll talk about my works in progress now. Um. Of course, I'm in the middle of a row, like you do. Um. But I have been working on my spice market shawl, um, which has made quite a bit of progress since we talked last week. Since it's basically the only thing I've worked on. Um. Is really disconcerting. Just keep talking. Keep talking. Okay. Stop to edit it out. Okay. So last week I was about uh, here when we talked. So I made quite a bit of progress. Um, I really like the way it's coming out. I'm working with Knit Picks palette um, and all the colors are in last week's episode. If you're curious, but I'm hoping to put about another week into this and be done and get to wear it. Uh, I've got so That'll many. Be very exciting. Yeah, oh, except exciting. you'll have to wait a very long time to get to wear it. Yeah, yeah. That's the wind outside of Florida. Um, I think I'll just suffer through. What if I wear shorts, a tank top, and this? It would be a look. Is that out of the question? I think you have to wear boots with it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I could do that. Yeah. Pull that off. Yeah, you can. Um, so yeah. Can't wait to be done. I have a lot of ends to weave in. Um, I'm gonna put it in some, um, wool soak, and then walk it, but uh, I'm sort of a small person, so I don't know how much bigger I'm really going to want this thing to be. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm ready to be done. I'm excited. And I am officially more than 50%. This was the 50% mark, so coming along. The other thing I have on the noodles this week um, is just a basic ribbed hat. Um, I think it's Eric's hat um, is the pattern I based it on on Ravelry. That is a sock yarn. Um, Pattern. This is worsted weight. The the ball band says Aaron, um, but I don't know about that. But it's amazing. Um, Lion brand amazing in strawberry fields. I knew that was the color. Yeah, you, you were with me when I bought this. Yeah, I think I have a strawberry field as well. Oh the really? Way. Huh. Um, well, I bought this like four years ago to knit something for my mother, who, as we discussed, doesn't really wear things that are knit because she lives even further south than we do where it is infernally hot. So, um, this has become a hat for my friend Ian, um, who saw the Facebook post about the vlog and said, and watched some of it about people in your life who are knitworthy and said, hey, hey, could that be me? Um, and so I said, yes, Congratulations, absolutely. Ian. I don't know you, but congratulations. This is your future. Um, so this will be on its way out to Arcata, California mm. at some point in the next two weeks or so. Will uh, it get colder? I, who am I to judge? He said, mm -hmm. I, it's, it's damp and cold here, so. Okay. It's the Northwest. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, hats on the way. It's going to be a fold over. Um, so I'm pretty excited about the way this is coming out. And, um, yeah. So I cast it on, believe it or not, yesterday morning. Um, and had a lot of downtime yesterday. Um, I really and I drove to Orlando, so it was about an hour and a half each way. Um, so I worked on it a little bit in, in the car on the way there and a bunch in the car on the way back. Um, 
and now I have most of the hats, so I'll probably finish it tomorrow, but we won't ship it. Probably won't ship it until I get back from vacation, because it's probably not super pertinent right now. So we already talked about what we acquired during the sale at Stash, but we actually both recently made acquisitions elsewhere, even though we were talking about we don't really need that much more yarn, and then... The internet. Not yarn. The internet, guys. It, it does things to you. So, so what did you acquire? I actually have not seen this yet. Ooh, you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay, so I ordered sock yarn. Um, you guys saw last week the first pair of socks I ever knit. Um, and I'm a little bit obsessed with knitting socks right now. So I ordered some yarn uh, through Craftsy. Um, but it is Cloudborn. Oops. There you go. Um, and so I bought um, this pink of this blue and green and purple yarn, um, Highland Twish tw Twist Superwash Sock, um, and it's a hand paint called Aurora Borealis. It is super beautiful. Um, this is going to become socks for my roommate, Sarah. Do you want to squish it? Yeah. I was thinking long. That's for Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one is But I also think that they look like a lot of the same thing. Yes, and I also thought that it was going to be like a much more red purple than it is. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, very, it's oh. very different than it looked on very the computer. Um, so then I bought another skein um, of the same, which is called Art Gallery. Oops. If I don't throw it. Um, so this one's called Art Gallery, which again I thought was purple. Um, it's definitely like a whiny red. Um, and I thought this was blue, and it's like a very gray or like a denim blue. Um, so, don't know who these are going to be for yet. Um, maybe for my mom, actually, my, my actual mom. Mm -hmm. um, and then I bought the same in two colors for contrasting heels and toes. Because um, I'm excited about learning to do the fish lips kiss heel, the afterthought heel. Um, and... This is Ocean and Fern Heather. And then I've got one more, which is Merino Superwash Sock Twist Tiny Stripe in Soul Music. So this is a um, self-striping yarn, which I am very excited about knitting socks for myself, but it's a huge one. So this is like two pairs of socks or four ankle, four pairs of ankle I was socks say, maybe. It's a lot yeah. bigger than me. Things. Way bigger than the others. And yeah. so I didn't expect that. He's also much softer. Um, yeah, squish Ooh, that. that. Very soft. I know. Is he a right? different weight? He's different. No, he's the same weight. Same weight. He's a lot more. Also soft weight. Um, but this one is a different makeup of materials and also a different amount of twist. The other one is sock twist. Um, mm -hmm. And then, well, this also says sock twist, but the yarn, that's that's a super twist. It's, yeah, it looks super yeah, different see, it's, if you compare. Them. Yeah, it's a very different very twist, um, and we probably want to get that up there for you guys. Um, so those I ordered for socks for me, but you will notice that these are all uh, Hanks. Neither one of us has a ball winder. Nope. Did not think that through at all. But um, luckily, our local yarn store will wind things for Yeah, us. she said she's happy to wind stuff um, for mm -hmm. us. So we'll probably, I'll probably take them down to her, you know, but like in little bits because I hate to come in with fives and buy yeah. them and be like, hey, please do this for me. Yeah. Um, and then you could just like buy something else to feel less guilty as oh, well. Oh, Anna, I like the way you think. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. So we'll probably do that. Problem, Problem solved. Mm -hmm. All right. What did you get? Okay. So my acquisitions, this one is actually from a couple weeks ago, but it's so beautiful. I wanted to show it off. So this is the Malabrigo Rastat in Acro Iris. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I got this one at Four Prongs Yarn Shop in Winter Haven, Florida. Um, I've been looking to buy Rasta for literally years, and I've never bought it before. Always wanted to, um, and finally I broke down and I decided, let's do it. And so I bought this. Um, I do have a plan for it. I'm going to make the Lightning Fast Mittens, and those are by uh, Hill Village Hill Vintage and Knits um, on Ravelry. I did a practice mitten. It went okay. Yeah, it went um, okay. But I got some new needles, and so we're going to try to make lightning fast mittens with these. And this yarn is really popular. 
color for that pattern. So I'm super excited for that. I think that colorway is stupid pretty. It's so it's pretty. so pretty. And the other thing I got is from Knit Picks. I got the Knit Picks Kotlin. Um, tiniest little skeins. It's I got, so tiny. Uh, I got five of these. Um, these are in the color... It does not say on here. I believe it's a uh, celestial. I think that's what you told something me. Something like that. Um, oh, planetarium is what it says on the front. Oh, maybe it's planetarium. Planetarium. Don't think that's what it was on the website. No. But that's what I got here. Um, and for these, I'm going to make the Cancun boxy lace top by Erin Kate Archer. Another thing that I've been looking at for a very long time. I have a cruise coming up. I want to wear this. And I got this when it was like, if you bought five skeins, you got 20% off. And so, I had to. Skeins. It was the it was the time to do this. And so, I'm very excited to make these as well. I'm excited about us making actual garments. Yes. Yeah, I have some real garments on my horizon as well. So, it's, it's going to be a first for both of us. It's very scary, but I think that we can do it. Yeah. So we're going to talk about something that plagues lots and lots of knitters, and that is projects that you start that don't quite go according to plan in the end. Um, yeah. yeah, so we each have two we're going to talk about, but um, do you want to go You want to go first? Sure. Okay, I'll, I'll pass some things over to you. Yeah. Okay. You've seen a flash. Yes. Oh, so, a flash of another one. So, you know, we're working it out. Let's start, actually, table. let's start with this guy. So this guy is kind of a double whammy. He, um, as you can see, he's a nice two. So, honestly, this is just kind of like a good snake sweater. Yeah, if this, you were a snake, it, this so would be a great sweater. If you have a snake and you needed to have a sweater, you know, just call us. Just call me and I got a snake sweater for you. Um, this is actually the first thing I ever knit. So it is a simple garter stitch uh, scarf, but of course the problem that plagues a lot of people with garter stitch is that it does this. The ends roll in and this guy just did it very intensely. We tried to iron him. Yeah, which is the way that my grandma blocks things. I don't know yeah. if that's how the uh, real knitting community does it, but so my grandma does it. Yeah, and it's also acrylic. Right. Which can't really block. Yeah. And so he just didn't end up that well. Um, however, if I want to just show him off a bit here, I think he was good for a first. Yeah, I think it's he important to keep in mind that that was your very first yeah. project. But I've never worn him. Um, yes, he's a two. Yeah, I'm going to jump in here and show my project plagued by the exact same problem. It is the end mm -hmm. roll in. I have blocked it once before. And with the iron, yeah, isn't not such. Now, was only one of the yarns had fiber in it? So this fiber? this was sort of um, at a transitional moment in my knitting career, um, where Anna and I had gone to a yarn store and I had bought a beautiful, um, I don't know if it was 100% wool, I think it was Cascade yarns, but it was this, it's the gradient that you see in here. Um, and then I paired it with 100% acrylic yarn, and that is the black. So, no amount of blocking, I believe, will ever make this a usable object. Um, this was like my take on the Noro scarf that's super popular on, uh, or was, it was extremely, super popular yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah, it was really popular on Rav at the time that I did this. I was like, oh, I can make a knockoff of that. Um, and so I just knit this guy, um, and he's got a little stockinette edge to help. It did not help. Yeah. Um, you know, the I mean, things that you wear. He's pretty. He's just a very pretty snake sweater. Snake sweater. An untapped market, if you ask me. I agree. I agree. And I really, like, I love the way the gradient came out. Yeah. Like, it still looks beautiful. It's just not usable. Not wearable. So, tube. people of the internet, if you have any advice on how to block something that's acrylic and solve our problems, please do not hesitate to let us know. Mm-hmm. All right, take it away. All right, and then my second project, and I, I'm hesitant to call him a complete fail. Yeah. But it wasn't what it was supposed to be for a variety of reasons, um, and so that is this guy. 
So this is a uh, Red Heart Unforgettable Yarn in Parrot. Uh, and the pattern is a Red Heart pattern, the Lafayette Shawl. Oh, uh -huh. I didn't know it was a Red Heart pattern. Yeah, it was a Red Heart. It was the one that was actually on the uh, label. Oh, not the same. Huh. Um, this was very early on. So yeah. it was my first shawl, so I'm happy with how it came out for my first shawl. But I ended it a lot sooner than the pattern called for. It's not nearly as big. Um, part of that was general laziness, and another part of it was they updated the pattern when I was in the middle of it, and it was never. Oh, no. And I was never really able to uh, go back. Oh, I did but, not realize that. Yeah. So fairly recently, I just went ahead and I cast them off. And here he is. So he still, he still works. I think he's adorable. He's still cute. Um, yeah. He looks really good on your dog. He does. The dog has worn him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He looks um, adorable. That's just not what I wanted. And then the yarn at some times was really trying. There were a lot of times that it would just break or there were knots in it that could not be removed. Yeah, it's a roving yarn. It's a roven yarn, which is always struggles I've had with roven yarns. They no. break a lot. Is that acrylic? I think it's, it's I red think hearts it's so acrylic. Likely is. Yeah, I think it's fully yeah. acrylic. Um, Do you want to hold it up good. to the camera? Yeah, so let's just give like um, a nice close up. But he was my first shawl. Relatively happy with him. Um, he started it all the way down here and then grew and grew and grew. But. He's just not what I thought he was gonna be, but I still I do still think that the colors are beautiful. Colors are beautiful. Definitely, fan. definitely. Yeah. Okay, All right, my second guy. So I have um, kind of a big one, and it is no one's fault but mine. Um, I picked the wrong yarn for the project, and I know now a lot more than I knew at the time that I did this. But this is the Barocco pattern Juliana. Uh, it's got so many problems, um, but the the biggest of which I think is the drape of it. Um, trying to find my other armhole. So I'll just put it half on here. It is not, uh, it's supposed to like lay across or be able to be worn across and then across on the other side. It is a lot of fabric. It's very hefty. Um, and you'll notice that it has this nice drop stitch effect. Um, you drop a stitch and you work it all, and it and it works itself all the way down. Unfortunately, I am having to manually work every drop stitch all the way down. Um, and you will also notice that there are some places where there's a bobby pin in here. Um, that is because when I started to drop the stitch, I noticed that I didn't have things quite right when I was working on it. And I don't uh, want to drop the whole piece, so um, this needs a little bit of surgery still. But yeah, I'm having to um, manually open every stitch. That's kind of a pain in the butt. It is a huge pain in the butt, as you can see, because it is like 70 inches long um, from corner to corner. Uh, it's supposed to have sleeves. I don't know if I'm going to knit sleeves on it because I don't necessarily want any more of this um, as it is. I probably will wear it, but I think if it had sleeves, it would be too warm for me to ever wear. Yeah. Do you think that you're going to try it again on a different yarn? I don't know because it is massive. Yeah. Um, yeah. Knitting like 72 inches is a lot. It's not necessarily something that I want to do again, at least not right now. Mm -hmm. I might try it again way in the future. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be drapey and light, and I had the opportunity to buy the Barocco yarn, the, I think it's the Barocco Ultra Alpaca that it's, that it calls for, and I was impatient, and I have to own that. I couldn't be patient. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I ordered something that was faster, that I could get faster, um, but I was trying to get it in time to leave on a road trip. Um, it's also extremely itchy. Um, I, we don't wear yeah. a lot of wool or have a lot of wool here in Florida, 
so I'm not used to wearing it against my skin, and it's, uh, yeah, it, mm -hmm. it's wool of the, it's a uh, Knit Picks wool of the Andes. It's not a bad yarn, it's just the wrong yarn for this. Yeah, the wrong yarn for the project. Lesson to learn, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, because it's, it's toothy, and that's why that uh, drop stitch isn't going on its own. Um, but yeah, we live and learn, and, and knitting is one of those things that has a lot of things to teach you, patience being one of them, mm -hmm. um, you know, but also about the fibers and things like that, so, yeah. Lesson learned. Yeah, mm. and you learned from yours, too, and yeah, we've um, come a long way. Yeah, I learned to knit faster, or else they might change the pattern on you, <laughs> and you will get lost onto where you were. That's a good point. Um, that's a good one. Yeah. But yeah, we've come a long way from the snake scarves. Yeah. Snake, snake sweaters snake sweaters, but I will take an order for a snake sweater. I, I will too. Yeah, yeah. let us know. Snakes, snakes. We need dimensions. How long is a snake? Yeah. So. We will charge more for like anacondas. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be by the, by the um, foot. By the foot. By the foot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, what is your snake's color? What What's their theme color? Are they named after a food? Oh, please tell us if you have a snake that's named after a food. We love that. Big fans. This has now become a snake cast. Well, we're on a welcome. tangent. <laughs> yeah. We're on a snake tangent. We didn't have a ton to talk about this week, but we are uh, going to be here every other week. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll have updates on the things that we're working on, the things that we ha uh, have acquired, and the things that are finished. So um, you can find me on Ravelry as Scarlywag uh, and on Instagram as Scarnet. Uh, you can find me on Ramari as La Anana, um, and you can also find me on Instagram as Ella Mingo Knits. And we do now have an Instagram for the show that's uh, two, two basic, basic stitches. Yeah. Two basic stitches, the numeral two. Yeah, so look for us. Um, follow us on Instagram. It doesn't have any content yet, but we'll take some pictures of the things we showed you on the show today and get them mm -hmm. on the Instagram. Um, so you have some things to look at, and we're always interested in hearing from you guys. So, like I said, if anyone has advice or shares our struggles, let us know. Alrighty, thanks for watching. <laughs> Instantly, full dog hair. Instantly, full dog hair.